Uh, though I don't think they fall off that hard either, right? Like we've seen Beastmaster with a good start can still scale. So this should be a fun one. I think these drafts are actually really close. Here going in. Wow, Boxy just charging straight on through here. Innocence. Might be getting caught out. The damage is coming through thick and fast from Liquid. They're going to need a couple more clicks, but I think they're going to find it. LGD might be giving away first blood here on Innocence. Wow, they've already backed away on uh, on Mickey, actually. He's just leaving him for dead. Boxy, can he finish the job? One more right click. Yeah, he's definitely doing that. <laughs> like right under the tower, like the Primal Beast and Bristle back lane. Middle lane, rotation in. Mickey gets a kill onto nothing to say with the help of Boxy. They pushed so deep in on that top lane. That Toss, and the instant that he, he comes close enough, you'll just stop him. It's yeah, I guess cool. you're right. That's probably how it's going. But in the bottom lane, Insane, you're in a bit of trouble being eaten up by Ame. And that is going to be a kill going to the Life Stealer. So, uh, big, big catch down in the bottom lane. Going to give Ame the start he needs. Crumblebee's trying to hide behind the trees at midboard so far. Everybody's attention is on this lane. Did he have vision for that? I, I feel oh, like Jinkyu getting gone. Yeah, he's still yeah. going to die here. Nothing to say really just wants to go and force the uh, someone else to take it, but the stun's actually there. Mickey gets it from the low ground. Insania gonna pick up the Hastry and try and come over to help with this one. Lightning is out, it's not enough damage to bring down nothing Haste to undying. say, but there he comes. The haste on dying with the soul rip. Claps him. He's still got haste. I think Innocence is also dead here. <laughs> This is so much value, and now the trample comes out from Boxy as well. Absolutely right, insane. The LGD can look to contest. He's got a wraparound from Jin Q. Yeah, those ancients belong to Marty, but uh, they are moving forward here on to Zai. And uh, well, Insane is coming over. Soul Rip Decay. What can he really do, though? Not contributing the tombstone to this one. There is a glimpse available, and the damage from that will finish off Zai. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> sorry, I need boots. <laughs> the glimpse kill is off guard sometimes, a glimpse does damage, but we've yeah, seen it enough yeah. times recently. Boxy getting onto Jinkyu here, Jinkyu getting absolutely smashed, and Mickey will come across with a nice little lightning bolt to finish the kill. They're just everywhere on the map. Mickey and Boxy making the plays together. It's looking good, and Matu able to just solo this lane completely up at top. Uh, shades of what we saw some teams trying over the course of the last chance qualifier, which was, I think it was even Liquid, like, forcing. Nothing to say, you have to start getting some stuff done. They get the toss back on the Boxy. Yeah, let's say to follow. Laguna Blade committed as well. Avalanche is there, and Boxy onslaught away. No way, no way. All right, the Glimpse gets it. <laughs> There's more rotations from Boxy and Mickey. They are just everywhere this game. Wow, look at this. Faith Beyond getting jumped here. He does have the stick for the black hole if he really wants to throw it down. Catches three inside of it. His time is limited. Healed up by Ame, though. That'll keep him alive as they bring down Mickey. Move across to the two man. Faith Beyond does pull Matu, trying to TP away from this one. Glim's going to cancel that out. He's dead. Two heroes gone on the side of Liquid. Might be three as Boxy chased into the tree line here. He's got the onslaught in just one second. But where are you going to go? Deeper onto the enemy side of the map. No TP available. 30 seconds, Boxy's days and none. <laughs> Projectile leader comes to Boxy falls, but the roar is there onto the life stealer. But uh, in comes Innocence from behind with a static storm. So Matu unable to keep stacking up these quill sprays. And uh, Ame just looking for the reset by jumping into Faith Beyond, but they're still chasing on Liquid. They are not done. Mickey coming across as well. They know they've got to go for Faith Beyond. He carries a very precious cargo and out pops that cargo onto Mickey. They'll heal Rage him up with the soul rip, but is he got enough health to live through this? Mickey will fall. Ame looking low, but running away. The life steal is going to get away on the sidelines. Martu still trying to chase. Does get in range for the viscous nasal goo up to the high ground. We shall go, but the glimpse is there to drag him back, and that will be that. The life stealer escapes. Meanwhile, Zinku on the back lines, not looking quite so lucky here. Marty will take his consolation prize, but it's not who he wanted. What a slugfest. 8 9 up of a hawk currently. So. Yeah, and Liquid, they're gonna come over. They got the level 6 on Boxy, so uh, this should be a fairly straightforward kill here. Nothing to say. Ooh, I'm not sure that's a neighborhood. <laughs> TP's in and just immediately leaves, like, uh, don't mind me, guys. I'm just, just here to farm. You do yeah. whatever you want. <laughs> I'll see that creep wave in a second. <laughs> Faith who? Oh, Static Storm getting dropped onto Insania, it was just de-warding. He's dead. Yeah, I think he's there to follow up as well, just give them the damage they need. Face in the right way, he gets Laguna Blade, he doesn't have enough items, uh, and it looks yeah. like kind of a joke, so... Just have to see which version they get. They managed to catch out Zai down here. Nice catch again from Innocence and nothing to say as they close the gap onto this Beastmaster. LGD getting a bit of a punish coming in. Like we're looking for some counter aggression. Arme is a very tricky target to bring down though. And Insania is actually being just ran out by this pesky, pesky lifestealer. Matu coming around the back, but the rage is there for Arme to just get himself back. So 
knew he's not in any real trouble. And this is such confidence from Ame as well, just completely by himself, chasing a support under a tier one tower. He knows that whoever TP's in, it won't be oh, enough to fifth bring him down. again. Foxy's got his number. He gets brought down. Yes, uh, I, I like that a lot from Ame. As soon as the Beastmaster's dead, who moving in, they see, oh, well, that's a very low health ratio. Shan, why is not smoke popped? Curious. LGD looking for the wraparound onto the enemy high ground, but thinking twice about it. Thank you. Oh no, he sees the zombie. That means his blink is going to get popped here. And he knows what's happening inside this pit. Faith Beyond. They can't get across. They can't do anything. ZQ jumps in. Can he get the steal? Yes, he can. ZQ gets the ages out of the hands of a Duma man. He will be falling for this. But what will be the price? Army gets roared on the sidelines here. But they don't feel like they have the damage to focus him. They will look instead towards a tiny, huge steal from ZQ. Will be dying for his efforts. But that's going to take the wind out of Liquid Sails. Does take the shine off it slightly that it was initially LGD's attempt to go for Roshan. It's very complicated in this game, basically. Yeah, I think that's still overall what LGD wanted, right? Uh, an avalanche or blink black hole. I think that's very much the plan for LGD. Matu. There's some brave positioning from them. BKB going to be popped from Matu straight off the bat. They're looking for the targets. They want to bring down Faith Beyond. No black hole. Does get used, immediately killed off though. As they look on the sidelines towards nothing to say as well. BKB and Lee, but the roar is out onto Livesteel. He talked about his team, but they are not here. Nobody is home for the side of PSG LGD, and they will run down Arme. No response available from the PSG LGD side. So Liquid will be. They're going to be able to get them back up. Jump in, middle lane. It's going to be the tiny caught out this time around, as Jinku doesn't have a play out of this one. He's they roar one of them, either the Lifestealer or the Lena, and. Well, jump in, roar out onto the Lena. Oh my god, Zai. A little bit too quick there. Nothing to say. Even if you did get off the uh, BKB, I'm not convinced you would have been able to get out of that one. I think your team needs yeah. you to. A little bit harder than last time. They have got the vision inside the pit. Jinku running over, going for it. No way, no way, no way. He doesn't get it this time around. Matu gets that Aegis, and Jinku doesn't make it a second time. Oh, so close, though. The LGD trying to pick someone off of the back here. It could be a dream entry to the fight. It could be awful as BKB pop from Boxy. No hesitation as he jumps in, grabs the Undyke, smashes him into the ground, but it's Arme on the back lines trying to get on top of Mickey, and they take down the big boy. Faith Beyond is gone. So is Mickey. But Matuma Man, looking for some revenge, trying to get on top of nothing to say, and does so with ease. And now looks to his next target. That's going to be Innocence. Oh my god. Gets smacked into oblivion. Arme moving to the tree line, needs to get away from this one. TP just comes off cooldown. Is oh, oh, his rage just runs out. Doesn't even matter though. The Primal Roar is there. Pulverizes in, and Arme is out. It's a triple kill for Matuma Man and a full five man team wipe for the side of P, uh, for the side of Flick Warriors. Look at making the beeline. They've got because the rest of the area, but it's coming through the pack. Oh no, Matu gets on top of Innocence, takes him down with ease, looking for the next target. Has to sit inside that kinetic field for a one before, trying to get the D ward on the high ground. Yeah, he's going to pay the price for that as Lean's coming over. There were two heroes from Liquid that TP top to try and catch nothing to say, but nothing to say is connecting back with his team again. Black Hole's going to come down just onto Boxy. Not quite catching Matu in that one, but they do get the kill on to the Primal Beast. Oh, may just kind of deal with these uh, dragons here, but he's going to get rolled up. Mickey in from behind as well. He needs a chance to get off the rage. Jinky's going to try and give it to him, and he's going to be able to do exactly that. Turns around and eats up Matuma, man. Arme oh, surviving and thriving through this fight. Mickey is just trying to bring down Jinky on the sidelines here. Arme oh, needs to leave. He has got the infest. Jumps inside, nothing to say, and backs himself out. Meanwhile, back towards the other side of the fight. Uh, Innocence has been left behind just a little bit, and Mickey is going to try and run him down. There is help coming, but it's not going to be here very soon. Nothing to say is also on a hawk here, so needs to be careful the whole menagerie of that beastmaster just running at the nothing to say lena they will leave but pull off a little bit same can be true for the lush rack and jump in throw back down to the low ground onto the bristleback innocence he's not happy with that but he's gonna be okay for the time being martu surviving through it as boxy looking for nothing to say they've got the Making hex the out no bkb due to earlier black hole gonna come down though trying to save him nothing to say can he turn it around they need to kill off this lesh rack and they will do exactly that nothing to say healing through it all oh my god so low but just blasting out the damage to heal on through it they pulverize her into the ground die leader die she will eventually fall but Ame's gonna clean up the kill onto boxy Ame just tearing through everyone 
Demon at Hearts, insane he's going to be the next target. They will kill off the undying four dead on the Zai to Liquid. Finally, PSG LTD find a fight, bash out onto Zai as well. They will get yet another as they bring down Zai. Zai is somewhat with the Viscous Nasal Goo, right, with the anti armor from that. So, could do more damage than we're used to seeing as Marty just run into everybody. Toss back though. They want to bring him down. Marty getting straight on top of the leader, but the leader just out damages him massively. Down goes the bristle back. ZinQ being beaten up by Boxy. He's trying to get the return kill here, but the black hole coming out onto two as a swing around the back line here. Lead again, beaten down by Mickey, but Mickey, he can oh, beaten down by Arme. Both the calls turn on him, tear him apart. You can't fight into that, not without your bristle back. Another huge toss back coming out from ZinQ, and there is just nothing you can do about that. Cool. And just in case it goes really, really wrong. They've got a Wind Waker on Jinku now as well, who is just going to throw back Boxy and then Wind Waker himself down to the low ground. Style points. I think you just flies on out of there. Black Hole coming down onto Marty and Arne. One. Just beeline it throw. Hold number two. Catching out three. Absolutely beautiful stuff from Faith Beyond. The buyback is there from the Bristleback. It's not, though, from the Lash Track. Baiting them out with the first hole. Jumping through for the second. And that's the big one. Catches three. PSG LGD looking to end this game in style. The buybacks are out and they're going to respond. Back then they're in no hurry to really push this too hard. A, a little bit of a moment of like, oh, you didn't call GG. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll have to keep going. <laughs> Actually, getting the damage onto Ame, they Yo. thought the game might be oh, over. Geez. Get cheese off. He manages to do it, and now they will gun down Marty. Marty kept alive narrowly by Insania. The Soul Rip doing the work to get the Bristle to safety, but. They are trying to hold their high ground right now, and with their Bristle back in the fountain, healing up, hitting the showers. LGD there, just going to take down the final lane of barracks. JNQ looking for a toss back, doesn't really find it here. Still has that uh, Wind Waker to work with, should he really need it. But he's chilling, he's vibing, no worries. Tombstone easily killed off by nothing to say. The machine gun is going strong. Ratatatata, got to do something here, Liquid. And another toss back, this time on to the Bristle back as he gets devoured by nothing to say. Nothing to say, look at the next target. That's going to be Boxy. GG called for game number one. And it will go to PSG LGD in true LGD style. What a game.